<laughs> no, thank you. No, it's just, I don't really feel like dancing right now. <laughs> I'm probably not going to be much fun tonight. Are you kidding me? No, not you. Sorry. George, right? Will you excuse me for a minute? Hey. You came. I know Jess invited you, but I didn't think you would come. No, I'm not saying you should have just not shown up. But you could have told her, you know. Oh, I can't make it to the party after all, but happy birthday. It's not like you guys are super close. She has so many friends here already. She probably wouldn't even notice if you were missing. <laughs> okay, you, you know I didn't mean it like that. You know what? Forget it. I don't want to get into this tonight. Into this. A fight with you. We're not fighting. Well, not yet. Okay, fine. But not here. We shouldn't fight or not fight in front of Jess and her guests. Especially on her birthday. Let's go somewhere else. Come on this way. What do you mean it's creepy in here? It's just like a storage room or something. You watch too many scary movies. Come in, come in. What are you doing here? Haha, ha, I mean at Jess's party. I know she's your friend. But she's my best friend. And I thought that you would take that into consideration. I thought we had some sort of unspoken agreement. Like a mutual understanding that you wouldn't come tonight. We broke up yesterday. So for you to show up at Chess's party tonight, knowing very well that I would be here, I'm just surprised. You thought I knew that you'd be here? Well, yes, I knew that you told Jess you were coming, but that was like a week ago. Before... Before... Yesterday. I thought for sure that us breaking up would change that. Because you being here is weird. Because I don't know how to act. Do you hate me? Do I hate you? Are we going to be friends? I don't know, because we didn't get around to talking about any of that stuff yesterday. And n now you're here, at my friend's birthday party. Okay, our friend's birthday party. And I'm not sure what you want from me. Oh, I see. So, you're just here for Jess. Right. Okay, well, wonderful. I'm glad we have that sorted. <laughs> and it didn't occur to you that you being here would make things awkward? Well, not just for me, but for Jess, too. Jess does like you. She thinks you're great, but you being here, it could make things awkward and tense. 
And I'm not saying that that's your fault, it's neither of our faults, but that's just the way it is when exes are in a room together. Okay, so this isn't weird for you at all. Wow, well, all right, good to know. Glad to hear that you're so unaffected by all of this. One problem, I haven't told her that we broke up. It's her birthday. She's been planning this party for weeks. I didn't want to burden her with my drama. If I tell her, she'll feel bad and... Yes, exactly. It'll kill the mood. So, you see how you being here is kind of a problem. Wait, no, don't leave. Jess already saw you walk in, so if she sees you leave so soon, she'll start asking questions and she'll know something's up. Let's just... Let's just go back up there and... And... And we'll pretend we're still together. Just for tonight. For Jess. I mean... Yeah, I... It shouldn't be that hard, right? Less than 24 hours ago, we were still together. Okay, good. I'm glad we agree. So, after you. Oh, what are you doing? Your arm around me, really? You're right, you're right. We have to act like we're together. Mm, I love you so much, my honey muffin. Yes, well, I figure I might as well be obnoxious with it. Jess, hi! I know, this is a great party. A lot of people. Do you need help with anything? The food, the drinks? Do you want me to gather everyone around and give a big, heartfelt speech about you? <laughs> I know, that's what you told me exactly not to do. You sure? Okay, we will. We'll try to have fun. I mean, we are having fun. It's so much fun. Together. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jess. Oh, I'm a terrible actress. Nice PDA there. You can tone it down a little, though. I'm just saying, you don't have to try so hard. Being so kissy and touchy. We should just act as we normally would. Yeah, but you don't usually kiss me in public. I mean, you didn't usually kiss me in public. No, never. It, it doesn't matter. Let's just try to have a good time tonight. Why don't we forget about everything for a little while and just have fun? Okay. What? Dance? You're asking me if I want to dance? <laughs> um... Sure, yeah, let's dance. <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> I wasn't ready! I didn't think you were gonna spin me. I want a do-over. Try again.
to see. <laughs> it's been forever since we danced. That's right, it was the third date. We were in the kitchen. You had just made me dinner. <laughs> I remember. He didn't sleep. Um, do you think that maybe if we... Oh, George! Hi! Um, this is George. George, this is my, uh, that was assertive. It's not stuttering. I did not need you to jump in. George, are you having a good time? Good. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling better now. Thank you. Sorry about earlier. I was just... Right, <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. That was George. Um, earlier he asked me to dance, that's all, and I said no because I wasn't feeling well. Yes, I'm okay. No, no, not like sick or anything, it's just, um... I'm gonna grab something to drink. Do you want something to drink? Wonderful, I will be right back. Here you go. Sure. You're asking about George again? I don't really know him. He's just some guy that works with Jess. I met him tonight. First thing he said to me was, Excuse me, your hand looks heavy. Want me to hold it for you? <laughs> I know, it's stupid, but it's cute. No, no, you're right. I don't. I don't like pickup lines. Usually. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> and what if I did? What if I did like George? Do you think he'd make a nice rebound? I'm kidding. I'm just trying to lighten the tension. You're so serious all of a sudden. It's not like it would matter, right? If I, I don't know, went out with him. I mean, you wouldn't really care. Because you're fine, right? You're totally unaffected. See, I should be more like you instead of wallowing in self-pity. I should have said yes to George. Earlier, when he asked me to dance. But no, I was too heartbroken. Maybe I'll go ask George to dance. What do you think? You and I are pretending we're together, but it's just a dance. No one will think anything of it. It's 
just switching partners. You know, he would pull me close like this, hold my waist, and I would lean into him and rest my head on his shoulder while we sway. Stop, hmm? Are you telling me to stop? What am I doing? Say it. Say that I'm making you jealous. Tell me not to dance with him. Just say it. <laughs> See? You've never fought for me. You can never tell me how you feel. I see how tired your eyes are. I know you didn't sleep well last night. But you would never admit that, would you? No, because you're just perfectly fine. What do you mean? If you let yourself feel it, you're afraid you'll never stop. So don't feel it. Let's keep pretending. Keep pretending last night never happened. And just feel something else. I love 